Welcome to the VMware Cloud on AWS feature demonstration. In this video, we will demonstrate how to configure hybrid linked mode for VMware Cloud on AWS. Hybrid linked mode provides the ability to extend an on-premises vSphere single sign-on domain to a VMware Cloud on AWS vSphere single sign-on domain. An administrator is now granted the ability to manage both their on-premises vCenter server and Cloud SDDC vCenter server in a single view. Prior to getting started with hybrid linked mode, a VPN connection must be established between the on-premises data center and the Cloud SDDC management gateway under the Network tab in the VMware Cloud on AWS console. Next, the Cloud SDDC DNS entries, including the vCenter server FQDN, must be updated to resolve the private IP address range of the on-premises data center. After the DNS configuration has been saved, log into the Cloud SDDC vCenter server using the local Cloud admin account. Under the menu option, go to Administration and select the Link Domains option in the left-hand pane. The Link Domains option presents the three steps necessary to configure hybrid link mode. In the first step, we add an on-premises identity source. In this example, Active Directory over LDAP will be used. The fields below require information from the on-premises Active Directory environment to be entered. All the necessary information, such as domain name, base distinguished name for groups and users, can be found in the Active Directory Users and Computer Console. Here is an example to obtain the distinguished name for both users and groups in Active Directory. Select the organizational unit where the user account or group resides. Right-click and go to Properties. Select the Attribute Editor tab and find the distinguished name attribute that will be used in the VMware Cloud on AWS console. After providing the necessary information, enter a username and password of an account with rights to join the Active Directory domain. Finally, Select whether to auto-discover an on-premises domain controller or specify a particular domain controller or multiple. After clicking OK, the identity source has now been added successfully. The second step is adding a group whose members will be granted cloud admin rights in the Cloud SDDC vCenter server. Select the identity source that was added in the previous step. Now, type the name or search for the group that should be granted access. After clicking OK, the Cloud Administrators group was successfully added. The third and final step to hybrid linked mode is linking the on-premises vSphere single sign-on domain with the Cloud SDDC vSphere single sign-on domain. Specify the hostname of the on-premises platform services controller, the vSphere single sign-on domain name, and credentials. After clicking the link button, Confirmation is received that both the on-premises vSphere single sign-on domain and the Cloud SDDC vSphere single sign-on domain have been successfully linked. Once the domains have been linked, to use hybrid linked mode, log into the Cloud SDDC vCenter server using an account that is a member of the group that was granted Cloud admin access from the on-premises identity source. After logging in with an on-premises account, Confirmation is provided that the domains have been linked. The Hosts and Clusters view will show both the Cloud SDDC as well as on-premises vCenter servers and their linked partners. The added identity source can be viewed from the Configuration menu option. The inventory of both the on-premises and Cloud SDDC vCenter servers are now available to view and manage from a single user interface within the vSphere client. This concludes the video on configuring hybrid linked mode for VMware Cloud on AWS. Thank you.